Aquarius, welcome to Alexander Tarot. This is going to be your November 2024 love reading for Aquarius. For those who have Aquarius placements, please check your natal chart <clears throat> for your placements. As always, cross watchers, you're welcome here. Keep in mind the energy is fluid, so the roles may be reversed. You may flip the messages as needed if necessary, but never force the reading. If it's for you, it will flow. Never force the reading, guys. All right. Also, time is fluid. So even though this is for November 2024, anytime you press play is the time for you to receive the messages. All right. So let's see what messages the divine has for Aquarius. Show me Aquarius to create some love. Guys, if the reading resonates, be sure to like, share, comment, and or subscribe. Be engaging. It's quite boring as a tarot reader if you're not completely free to you and it's priceless to me okay i don't want the algorithm to think that i've died and i feel like it has because i'm sick now that i'm better i would like to get this video circulating all right um so let's see what we have here also if the reading resonates you may click on the link in the description box below wow see how that card flipped around it's pretty wild show me the messages please for prayers Show me Aquarius' situation and love. For the collective, please. Okay. Clarify the hermit, please. Clear Father Moon. Wow, you see how that flipped it out, that card? Okay. With the moon here, I feel like something was hitting in a connection with you, with someone that you were connecting with. This person went quiet on you because of something that they were there was something that they needed to release, something that they were feeling burdened by. And so I feel like there was a detachment here and I feel like this person was soul searching. So the reason why this person detached definitely had nothing to do with you. Definitely not, because I got the Empress here, all right? They see you as very loving, very nurturing, but they just felt like they had a lot going on internally. There were things that they needed to deal with. Um, this person needed to disconnect in order to connect with themselves, okay? I do see at the bottom of the deck with the Five of Cups that this was very painful for you. It was an emotional loss, but I just want you to know that this person disconnected because they tried to, they had to work through some things. Um, I feel like the way that they did it was very hurtful and my heart goes out to you for that. You could be connecting with um, a Pisces or a Leo. But I see here with the Knight of Cups, crowned by the page of cups that this so this person is following their heart now coming towards you with an offer of love you will hear uh, a message you will get a message from this person it could be a text message it could be um they, they gift you something they send you something to your job or to your home um but this person decided that they're choosing happiness for of, of cups reverses here okay a lot of emotions here this person has for you there's this a sudden awareness that this person has, okay? But they, they went through something in their past. And this Five of Cups, for them, could have been emotional love. This person could have lost someone in the past. They could have lost a, a relative, is what I'm getting. They could have lost their mother. Take it as it resonates. They could have lost the mother of their children, for some of you, this was an emotional um, and physical loss. Okay, I'm downloading different messages here. Show me more for the situation. Yeah, this this per this loss that this person went through, it it caused them to feel out of control. They didn't know what direction they're going when this loss happened. Yeah, the tower moment. They were blindsided by this loss. Okay. Whatever this was, guys, I'm telling you, this person went through some sort of loss. That's the dominant energy that I'm downloading. 
for some of you, this person definitely wanted to um, connect with themselves, reconnect with themselves, find themselves because of whatever this was, this loss that they experienced. All right, show me one more, please. And I feel like this person was very arrogant and out of control because, and they wasn't explaining to you why. This came out sideways, I only read upright to reversals. I feel like they didn't explain to you why they were, they started acting the way that they were. It was like this self-sabotaging behavior. It's because they had something that they was not over, that they was holding on to, okay? Four of Pentacles is here. So this person has some deep-seated issues. For some of you, this loss didn't happen recently. It could have happened months and years ago. But this person, it's like they never got over that loss. And I feel like you remind them of this person, which, which are nurturing loving ways. And this is why I made it so hard for this person because this person detached because they didn't want to feel the pain of that loss again is what I'm getting. You can be connecting with an Aries or um, a Cancer. So this is why this person, you know, stepped off. Show me this person's feelings towards Aquarius. Look at that. Ace of Cups. This person loves you. Did I not say that there was a lot of emotions this person is feeling? This person is going to return. Oh, my goodness. With a lot of... They're going to... With a lot of emotions. Okay? They want to explain... The negative phase that they that they're in, the bad, you know, the delays, the pulling back, the disconnecting, the heartbreak. The five of cups came out again. They're gonna explain that to you. This person may cry with you about this when they express their emotions about this situation and about their feelings for you. Okay, this person is is going to express all these, these this love. Okay. Um, Show me more, please, for this person's feelings. Yeah, this person realizes that they was deflecting onto you with the Queen of Wands in reverse, and that this person had you feeling very insecure. And like, you wasn't yourself. You didn't understand why this person was one way, and then they did a whole 180. And it was happening, I feel like it was on and off. And the strength reverse was telling me you were feeling like inadequate, like maybe you're not enough for this person. You was questioning yourself. And it, this person's energy was triggering. The Queen of Wands reverse tells me this person knows that they was triggering you with their ways. But they do love you and they wanna, they wanna talk to you about what this issue is that they have in their relationship with you and in past relationships is what I'm getting. Yeah, but they wanna invest in this, Ace of Pentacles. They want to invest. They want to offer you a solid investment of love. All right? So, you know, aces are, are new beginnings. Show me your feelings. What are your feelings for this person? Aquarius. Um. Show me one more, please. You, th you feel like this, you, th you thought this person is keeping secrets from you, they're not being honest, and they, they are. They're not they haven't told you everything about their past and why they have these emotionally detaching issues. And with the Ten of Cups reverse, you feel like this person, you know, they shattered this connection, and you feel like this relationship is struggling because this person is in and out, right? Some of you may have, a ch again, a kids with this person. They may have a child or children, or children may be involved on both ends this person can have children or you can have a child with children and you just feel like this person is being selfish and you feel let down by this person but at the same time you also see this person you know you like i see you see them as the emperor you like this is somebody that you felt safe with you you felt like they were like a father figure in a way they remind you they reminded you of a father figure is what i'm getting all right and you just want this person to, you just want to feel safe with this person again, is what I'm getting. It could be an Aries, but you feel like, I don't know, right now I can't really trust this person because they keep disconnecting. Yeah, but you, you know, you want things to come back into balance and you're willing to be patient with this person. You just want them to talk to you is what I'm getting, right?
it's, it will take, you understand that you feel like this person definitely has some emotional trauma and that would take patience and hard work. But you love this person too is what I'm getting, Aquarius. Yeah, Queen of Cups, you're very loving and nurturing. You want to help this person heal. You do. You know that something's wrong. You're very intuitive yourself. You're self-aware. You know that there's something emotionally wrong with this person. And you're like, I want to help you through it. But you have to tell me something. You have to be honest with me. Right? So what advice do we have? Show me the advice for Aquarius in regards to the situation. getting a lot of confusion from you. A lot of times when I ask the cards for advice, they, they tell me the situation first. Um, the advice here is right now is because you feel overwhelmed by this. You feel confused with the seven of cups reversed, but also spirits telling me there's going to be clarity. Okay. This person is going to choose you and I mean, they're going to self-surrender to this connection. The hangman is telling me they will surrender and they will, they're in it for the long haul. Seven of Pentacles. So there is going to be some clarity. There's going to be some alignment from coming from this person. Yes, five of wands reverse. This person is going to want your um, forgiveness. Okay. And they want... You guys may not agree with every little thing, and that's okay, too. You can agree to disagree. This person definitely doesn't want any more drama with you, is what I'm getting. They, 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 kind of, they disconnect because they're trying to avoid drama, but that avoidance doesn't help the situation. This is somebody that needs to speak to you, and they do intend to, and they recognize that. So this is someone that's going to, to make things right because they know that you, you, know, you feel like it's, you're losing faith in the connection. Is what I'm getting. That's your energy with the star reverse. So advice, please. There's going to be mental clarity. The advice that I have here is with the aid of um, swords reverse is to release your negative thoughts that you have for this person because you're in your head about it. Like this person, what's going on? Is this person cheating on me? And, you know, you know something's wrong, and but you have all these theories. And like some, and like again, you know, there's some sort of trauma there. But you're like, what's happening? Is this person with someone else? But spirit is like, release the negative thoughts that this is not going to work. This is going to be over. Whatever you're telling yourself, the Eight of Swords Reverse is telling you to release that and be open to a new perspective. Um, because clarity is going to come in from this person. Okay, with the Ace of Swords, I, I'm telling you, I got three Aces here. There is a new beginning for sure with this person. But again, just let go of any self-limiting beliefs that you feel about this connection because you're losing faith in it because how this person's been moving. And just let go of any negative thoughts because there is a new beginning in love with this person, okay? This person will come in and this person will profess their love for you. Again, very emotional conversation about their past and their, and their future with you. All right, so before I close out this reading, I'm going to pull some oracle messages. Okay, show me the messages, please, for Aquarius. Guys, if it's resonating, please leave your comments. I love the comments. I will respond. Okay. And then if you don't want to leave a whole comment, you can type in the comments, resonated, or I claim this reading, so I can pick up on your energy. Show me the messages, please. Manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance, okay? There's going to be a change. The universe is gifting you a miracle. Secret admirer. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. <clears throat> than they are letting on. This card is telling me that your person is like pretending that they're not bothered as much. And that's bothering you even more. This separation, but they are. They, they have deeper feelings than you know. And this person will return to, to, you know, to pour out those feelings, as I've said. Healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. You, you feel your relationship being healed this very moment. Okay? So 
It's about manifestation, thoughts become things. So imagine it and see it happening and watch how it, it, it comes, it manifests in your life. Transformation, your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. See? I love that for you. I love that for you. So those are the messages that I have for you for this reading, Aquarius. Um, if you're interested in personal reading, again, click on the link in the description box below. I wish you healing. I wish you love and light. And I'll see you again on the next one. Bye.